Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Elsa Bloodstone. She made her first appearance in Bloodstone, issue number one, that was released in October of 2001. She also goes by the nicknames of Ellie and English Girl, and she's a powerful superhero that stands five feet nine inches tall and weighs 120 pounds, having blue eyes and long red hair, although it was originally blonde with her also currently having a unique feature that's known as her quote-unquote fancy bloodstone hand. Now, Elsa is a British-born monster hunter and mercenary that has bloodstone empowerment, meaning that she was imputed with some powerful superhuman abilities by the magic of the blood gem, which itself gave her father, Ulysses Bloodstone, his powers. Now, it seems that she inherited some of her abilities simply due to genetics, with them somehow being present in her blood from her father. However, we credit the bulk of her abilities to her bloodstone choker, which was a shard of the blood gem. All of this combined has given her an assortment of abilities, which help her in her fight against monsters. A quick example of this is that she's actually immune to vampire bites, as well as she will heal a vampire if they consume her blood. But overall, Elsa has moderate superhuman strength, stamina, and durability, not to mention what I'd consider low-level, vast superhuman agility, although she's not quite as agile as individuals such as Spider-Man. To go on, the stone's powers also give her a moderate healing factor as well, not to mention her being able to control powerful energy blasts with her bloodstone hand. Now, all of these powers are besides the fact that she also has extensive training in multiple martial arts and weapons, with her loving to use dual Uzis, shotguns, and handguns, although she has been shown to be dangerous enough to make a powerful weapon out of a basic shovel. She's also very knowledgeable of occultic books, having had access to things such as the Scrolls of Cthon and the Darkhold, not to mention the Day's Raw Fragments or the Le Fay Testimonies. So as you can see, Miss Bloodstone is an absolute unit. Now, as I stated earlier, Elsa Bloodstone is a popular monster hunter within Marvel Comics, being the daughter of the formerly immortal monster hunter named Ulysses Bloodstone and her mother, Elise. Elsa's upbringing was difficult though, with her father subjecting her to brutal training from a young age, including forcing her to fight a monster as a baby and throwing her to a pack of sharks. This abuse turned tragic when Ulysses, enraged by her taking too long to kill a monster, allowed its blood to infect her scalp. And it's among these many things that her mother Elise tried to intervene, which then caused Ulysses to commit her to a mental institution. Naturally, all of these things left a very bitter taste in Elsa's mouth towards her father. That's why even when he was on his deathbed and begged her to kill him, she refused. However, after her father's passing, she would inherit the Bloodstone Choker, which was a powerful artifact that boosted her natural strength, speed, durability, and healing factor. And it's after this that she would embark on a monster hunting career. Over the years, she's been a member of several different teams, some of these including Next Wave, The Initiative, The Midnight Suns, The Fearless Defenders, and Doom's Avengers. Not to mention that she's also worked with Deadpool on a number of occasions. Just one of her noteworthy storylines involves the Dreaming Maiden, which was a being whose dreams caused monsters to rampage. Naturally, Elsa became determined to stop her. And it's this quest that led her to confront her father's past and come across the likes of Wolverine. But at one point, Elsa's life would be turned upside down with the rest of the Marvel Universe when the world underwent a reality war. This is when Doctor Doom became a hero and assembled a new team of Avengers, which included Elsa. It was during this time that she'd work alongside them to battle against the now evil Scarlet Witch. Yet, during another reality warp, Elsa would find herself on Battleworld, a strange amalgamation of different realities. And it's here that she was a commander who battled against zombies, along the way also encountering a young girl who appeared to be a manifestation of her lost childhood. Now, Elsa eventually would merge with this girl and defeat her evil father in this reality. Subsequent to this, when the multiverse was restored, Elsa would resume her monster hunting activities. 
We then see her quite often helping a young boy named Kai Kawade control his monster summoning powers and defeat a monstrous invasion. She would also be right by the side of Deadpool during his reign as the Monster King of Staten Island. During this time, she would be infected by a bone beast and would nearly die. Matter of fact, if it wasn't for Deadpool sacrificing himself to save her and the children that the Bone Beast had captured, it may have been a wrap for the powerful Bloodstone. Nevertheless, due to the bond that she had forged with Deadpool and the sacrifice that he did, she would then take care of his severed head while he regenerated. And even more recently since then, we've seen that she's been reunited with her brother Cullen and a mysterious sister named Lyra, who claims to have been exiled by their father. So overall, as stubborn, determined, and powerful as Elsa is, I'm sure we'll see plenty more of her within the Marvel Universe. Now, due to her powers and abilities, and her influence on the Marvel Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Elsa Bloodstone a rating of 7, which is a master rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.